What's up? What's up? What's up? Good morning, everybody. Um, v Weathers HR checking in with Shorty C94 for our next episode of Purchase or Pass via our Weathered Souls page. Just gonna wait for him to hop in. Oh, and there he is. Hey. Hey. You ready? Yeah. What's up, Taz? All right. All right. So let's start off by talking about last week. So last week, the only shoe that we both said we were going to try for was the I My My Year Ones, which we did. We both tried via sneakers and we both took L's. <laughs> <laughs> now we did go to um a resale shop this week and we were able to see the shoes in person um don't get me wrong they were a, a nice shoe they were well executed i just um i didn't get that sense of like oh i have to have these so the l wasn't necessarily that bad for me um and also, I think I kind of detached myself from them even more once we were not able, when the furnace went out and we couldn't make it over to the store to do the um, in-store raffle, I lost all hope on getting those shoes. So there, there's that. Um, yeah. Uh, what's you up? Were, you weren't that disappointed either, right? Nah. Uh, what's up, Keith? What's up, Love Jones? Um, no, nah, I mean, like I said to you, it's a shoe that it would have been nice to, to have, but I wasn't upset about it at all that we weren't, you know, able to get it. I would much rather have the, the threes. What's up, Carl? What's up, King Chains? Yeah. Okay. So then also this past week, um, we talked about the patchwork threes. And we were both, I was going to pass on them. Um, you said you were going to make a game time decision, which you decided not to. Um, they sat for a minute, so I decided to go ahead and purchase them. So my pair will be arriving tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> when they said yeah. that they only had two sizes left, an eight and an eight and a half. So I, I felt like it was like required. It was like meant for me to have them. So there's that. Um, so they'll be here tomorrow. Uh, I think once you see them, you'll kind of decide whether or not you should or should not have gotten them. I already know that I should have, but, uh, what's up, LeBron Kicks 23? <laughs> what's up, L. Nicole Mom? Um, yeah, I definitely should have got them, so it's, yeah. it's cool. All right. So. And then last week, I also talked about, um, a Vans collab with um the artist Tierra Whack. So there were four pairs that were releasing. I think only three of them released because it said like coming soon for one of them. Um the ones that I wanted the most were these like yellow like they kind of look like rain boots and kind of find out the retail price on those is $190. Vance can go to hell. I'm not paying $190 for those. So I will just pass on those and you know maybe catch them down a line at a play-doh's closet or something so there's that and then um also this week i did a live with a fellow female sneakerhead uh sneaker mess aka kai um so that was fun if you are interested in watching catch the replay on her page i also shared it in my stories i reshared it in my stories so you can um get the link and share it on um the weather cell stories as well and she has actually um, collaborated with a couple other sneakerheads in the area to do a shoe drive um, to give new shoes to students in the Charlotte area. Um, so we are participating in that. We did um, purchase a pair for our assigned students. So excited for them to be receiving those as well as all of the other kids. So uh, shout out to Sneaker Mess for her philanthropy work there. 
And that's it for last week. So you want to hop right into what's coming out tomorrow? Well, I do want to say last week I did get to turn 41. Um, you know, it was a blessing to uh, make it to 41. Um, I turned 41 on Thursday. do want to say hello to everybody that's joined. I can't say everybody's name because there's been so many people joining. Thank you. Um, thank you for everybody that showed me love on my birthday, you know, which was Thursday. Thank you very much. So um, got some great stuff. You can also watch the replay of uh, V Weathers HR and Sneaker Mess on my YouTube channel. But um, what's up, Jeff? Oh, like somebody, but, um, somebody commented and said, hopefully no more shows at the same time. I agree. My show was planned first. I'll just say that. All right. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Let's get into the shoes. <laughs> all right. So today there is an Adidas Ultra um, 4D Sonic Ink, $220. What were your thoughts? Pass for me. Pass. I mean, nah. If I'm ever riding 4D, it's going to be the social status one you got. Oh, the one I have? Yeah, that, that's literally the only 4D I have. Adidas, for, um, the 4Ds are so expensive. Like, Ultra Boost is expensive too, but the 4Ds are even more expensive. And I just, I cannot see myself spending that kind of money. But that social status pair that I have, I had to. Those were fire. Another pair I should have got? It's cool. <laughs> and I asked you if you wanted no. And you said no. All right, uh, definitely a pass for those. All right, so tomorrow, Monday, December 6th, we got a few pairs coming out. Um, Adidas Yeezy 350 V2 Compact Slate Blue. No, thank you. Nah. Cool. <laughs> pass, pass on those. Um, Adidas Ultra Boost 22 Intro, um, five different colorways. They look like the 2021 Ultra Boost. I don't really see much difference. Exactly. So. I'll be passing on those. What, what were your thoughts? I haven't worn the pair of 21s. I got the Volt ones with the pink yet. So, um, you know, I hope to get to wear them uh, before the year ends, you know. But, you know, with Converse, it's hard to say. So, pass. All five. Yeah. New Balance 574 with uh, Louis Guzman. $85. Black and pink. It's a shoe you would have messed with a couple of years ago. You know what I mean? But, nah. No. Nah. Okay. Yeah, same here. Um, Nike 1971, black and white, $240. Now, I own the Nike 1972, but this mm -hmm. 1971 is a straight football cleat. It's mm -hmm. like a football cleat. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, uh, it basically looks like a Cortez but like with a 1970s cleat style bottom, I mean, I don't play soccer, so that's a pass. And I mean, even if it was casual, you wouldn't mess with this. So, yeah, pass yeah. on that too. And then the Nike Air Force One LeBron Drive for Greatness. Um, what are your thoughts here? I'm excited. You know, they kind of they used to do that a lot, where they would give players uh, Air Force Ones. Mm -hmm. More than half the time, they would be promo samples, but. I own at least four LeBron Air Force Ones. You know what I mean? So some of that was just us being in and from Cleveland where we were able to get them. But um, yeah. I feel like they should do that again. I mean, they've already started giving other athletes uh, lifestyle models. They did it with Saquon Barkley with the uh, Air Trainer 3. They need to start doing that. You know, like John Morant should have an Air Force One. Um, you know, whoever else is on Nike, ben, well, Ben Simmons has a blazer. But, you know, he, he, he should have an Air Force One like – all of those guys should. So hopefully this is the start of that. This specific colorway, yeah, I mean, it's mostly sales. It's got checkerboard on it, a black swoosh, and a little bit of blue on the Nike Air. Um, it's something I'll probably get down the line, but I ain't, I ain't got to have it for 130 and I doubt that it sells out. But they could limit it so it sells out on purpose. So, But I'm passing. Yeah, I don't know what the availability is. I do feel like if a shoe is limited, it's definitely more sought after. But no, regardless, and it's of not how on it sneakers. It is. Yeah, yeah, it's uh just regular Nike. So we'll yeah. see. But yeah, that's definitely a pass for me. Um, and then on Tuesday, what is this? Adidas Addy Two Thousand. 
Black it's just the early 2000s skate shoe. It's the only thing coming out that day. I wasn't even going to talk about it, but since it's the only thing coming out that day, I just, you know, put it in there. Shout out to everybody who just joined. Hello. Um, but yeah, nah, nah. It looks like something you wear with some Jinko jeans or something back, you know, when I was young. So, nah. Okay. Then Wednesday, they got the Nike Air Jordan 1 Low Retro Bread Toe. I'm sure people will go crazy over those. Those will sell out. They're $100. I will be passing on those. I don't need those. What about you? I mean, the thing about one Lowe's is it's, it's tentative. That's when they're supposed to come out. You know, they could already be in stores, but nah, it's going to have that um, janky ass leather. It's not going to be like the regular bread toe, you know, from a couple years ago with the good leather. So I'm cool. If I found those at the Plato's or the uh, Avalon Exchange or a uh, Uptown cheapskate or something, you know, for the low. I fuck with them then. Yeah. I just, I don't even feel like dealing with the headache of trying to buy them. Like, I just, I don't <laughs> even feel like dealing with that. No, like, I feel it. I'm good. The, so the I'm only okay. place I really see one one lows at in abundance is is finish line. And the finish lines down here suck. So, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. So, nah. Yeah. All right. So, we got a lot of shoes coming out on the nine. Two pairs of Adidas with uh, Craig Green. Scuba, Forma, there's, or, or I'm sorry, Formar. There's a blue pair and an orange pair. These are $250 a piece. I don't know if no. Craig Green is a British, you know, fashion designer or whatever, and the shoes are interesting, but they ain't $250 interesting. You know what I mean? So, nah, I mean, those are, those are both easy passes. I might even magic pass them, you know, no look, at, you know what I mean? So, nah. Yeah. Then there's um two pairs of new balances, mixed media hounds tooth. One is a fifteen hundred, the other one is a nine ninety one. The nine ninety one is two hundred and sixty dollars. The fifteen hundred is two hundred and thirty dollars. I will yeah. fuck with that fifteen hundred. I love fifteen hundreds. I had an original pair from nineteen ninety three that didn't make our trip when we moved down here. Um they're always expensive, but they're usually not that expensive. I'm cool on the I don't like any of them nine ninety one, two, three. Like, I don't like any of that shit. So mm -hmm. I'm cool on those. Those look like orthopedic, you know, like I'm a lawyer and I'm 61 and I'm trying to get back in shape and I'm running down the street and my, you know what I mean? Nah, I'm not, I'm not with that. So um, I'm passing them, but only because of the price. If they were readily available and they were cheaper, I probably would mess with those 1500s. I'm with you, Love Jones. I don't know why all these shoes are retailing so high. It's like a money grab, I feel. Like, well, everybody let, me, let me say this. Just... What? I mean, I interrupt y'all, but New Balance is in the in the limelight now, but they've always been expensive for some of these silhouettes. They've always been expensive. So it'll be a little bit more if it's house tooth on it or it's a collab. But like, I was getting 997s in 2014 and they were already 200. So, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's, they, they've always been expensive because the quality is actually there with some of those shoes. Um, it's not like Nike where you, you know, you paying for it because it's a Jordan or it's a collab or whoever. It's actual quality. It's real suede, pigskin, real shit. Now, I'm not saying it's worth that, but I'm just saying why it's priced at those points. Having pairs of New Balances like that myself. Yeah, but I think we're, we're just saying like in general, the price point of a lot of sneakers is really high. Like everything that I've mentioned so far is over $200. <laughs> Like for that's coming out for Thursday. Hey. Everything is over two hundred dollars. Like it's it's a little much. So, um, and then even still, two more colors of the Adidas Ultra Boost are coming out on Thursday. One hundred ninety dollars. Like that's ridiculous. More, yeah, more foolery past that. Yeah. So moving on to Nike and their foolery. Um, they have the Golden Gals pack coming out, which is supposed to be inspired by makeup. Um, now, I have been able to see two of these pairs in person. They are sitting in stores right now. So I saw the Air Max 97s. Um, those are $180. And I saw the Day Breaks. Those are $110. Um, I'm not really interested in those. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't really have an interest in them. And then there's a, so those are gold, which the pack is called Golden Gals. And then there's a dunk, 
that's silver, which I don't know why the <laughs> bag is called Golden Gals, and then they got a silver shoe. Of the three pairs, I do think that I like the Dunk the most. I will be trying for those, um, but I won't necessarily be heartbroken if I don't win them. Um, I know those are all women's shoes, but did you have any thoughts on any of them? Nah, one thing Keith just made in the comment there, another reason why a lot of those New Balances are so high is because they are made in America and they have to pay higher living wages for the people who make the shoes. But as far as the Golden Girls pack, nah, this is something that they probably should have did a couple of years ago when 97s were a little hotter. Um, there probably would have been an Air Force One in the pack instead of the Dunk. Um, you know, it just could have been executed differently. It's, a, you know, you know, it's supposed to be, you know, about makeup and, you know, y'all being, you know, flashy or whatever, but nah, nah, I don't have any, any thoughts on them. Yeah. So I feel Western um, far. Hey, Ron, 72. I like, yeah, I like the um, Daybreak in general, but like, I didn't, I don't like those shoes, so there's that. Um, so then also there is a women's Nike Air Force One low, it's pink and there's fur on them. Um, I really don't like that. And y'all know I love a pink sneaker. I don't like the shade of pink on those. Um, so I will be passing their $130. So, and then, um, yeah. what? No, I was just going to say, I mean, earlier when we were, you know, looking at the shoes, um, you know, together, I thought that you were going to like that when I showed it to you. And, you know, you... Um, you shocked me not liking those. The pink is a little soft, but I thought you would have liked it. Yeah, it's a very soft. I shouldn't say soft pink because it's not like light like that gold hoops pink. Um, it's giving like mm -hmm. Pepto Bismol kind of vibes, if you will. But I don't know. Like I just I don't really like it. I don't have to have it. And certainly not for one hundred and thirty dollars. Um, and then also I don't even know why you bother. We bother talking about grade school shoes because. <laughs> We can't. Hey, there's people in the in the comments that's that's there's true. There's people in the comments saying, that need to know. Yeah, I guess for uh, I'm saying in terms of purchase or pass, I guess we would have to say purchase if we could. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Even if I could, <laughs> I wouldn't buy them once. Yeah, the Nike uh, Air Jordan One Grade School Holiday, hundred and five dollars. Um, they're okay for yeah. kids, I guess. It's cool, holiday or ornament, whatever. But yeah, yeah. So we're disqualified so from that, regardless. Love Jones but. brought up. The, did you see? Uh, Love Jones brought up the the nineteens. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's forthcoming. I mean, they're both going to be on sneakers. I have a rant, but I'm gonna save that rant for the next episode, and not this one to keep this <laughs> real clean and cute. So, you know. <laughs> oh, they're not coming in kids' prices. Okay. That's trash, but all right. Um, Friday, December 10th, Adidas Yeezy 700 V3, Copper Fade, $200. Nope. I don't like the uh, 700 V3 or V2. I just like the V1. Yeah. And that's new. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You have this listed as the 10th. But they're supposed to be releasing on the ninth. Adidas um, Ivy Park newest collection. <sighs> I I'm frustrated with Ivy Park. I will say that I was excited in the beginning, like those first three drops. Um, I was excited about. I've lost interest since then. Um, the new collection consists of a bunch of houndstooth stuff, which. Nike just put out a bunch of hounds to stuff um, and like a tennis ball color green, which is not very different from drip drop two, if you remember, um, which I posted about this, like th the ultra boost is a little bit different, but it's not different enough for me to drop $200 on. So um, that stuff is all that stuff is released on the ninth. Um, via adidas and then it'd be available at select retailers on the 10th um so they can keep all of them i didn't see any shoe in that collection that i that i want um did you have any thoughts on it because you know her stuff is 
unisex and kids and everything. So did you have any stuff, uh, thoughts on it? Let me shout out everybody who's joined the chat. Um, beautiful struggle 2021. We'll get to the LeBron nine, watch the throne in a sec. What's up? If you 31 T car Oh nine. Um, no, nah, I mean, it's not for me. Um, nah, you know, um, Keith said, do you own any Ivy Park items? Should men purchase the shoes or leave them for the women? I don't have any Ivy Park stuff. Uh, what you got, what, three Ultra Boost Ivy Parks? Yeah, uh, I Beyonce? got the first, the first three. Um, usually in, in her releases, I only like the Ultra Boost. Um, the Night Joggers are okay, too. But I have the first three, the Maroon, um, the original, what is that, Frozen Yellow, and the Black with the frozen yellow so but i mean they make stuff that is for women they make stuff that's f deemed for men um all of the shoes from what i recall are in men's sizes so yeah they, i don't have any ivy park stuff like, you know and won't i mean the only thing i would ever consider wearing would be that very first ultra boost that uh, maroon one with the orange uh bottom i, I did like how that looked but it's not something I've ever tried to buy or tried to look for or anything like that. Mm. All right. And then the home. Oh, I'm sorry. I was skipping ahead. New Balance and Rich Paul's collab is coming out on Friday the 10th. Um, what are your thoughts? We talked about that before. It's a decent shoe, but nothing I have to have. It's 130. It's a five fifty. It's a decent mm -hmm. shoe. What's up, everybody? To join, Miss Love to you, my boy Talon Face Rings Bells, Carpenter G thirteen. Um, I don't like the five fifty. I mean, we talked about this last week. Um, for that to be a shoe that's either from the eighties or eighties themed, it looks a lot like James Worthy's New Balance, but uh, low top. I just don't like it. Like, I haven't been compelled to buy any of them, limited or regular. So it's nice that a dude from Cleveland, even though he's heavily associated with the face of Nike basketball, it's still weird. But um, I think Keith or somebody in the, the chat last week said that, you know, some of his circle has been wearing other stuff for a while. So it's good that, you know, that's happening. But it's nothing that I have to have. I mean, so... Yeah. It's good, but All right. nothing for me. Yeah. All right. So then we also have two pairs, two more pairs of the Nike Sakai Cause Blazer Lows. Purple Dusk and Reed, $140 each. Um, I do not have to have these. The only ones I consider getting was the ones that had like the blue and yellow. Um but yeah, I don't. I'm passing on both of these. It's not something I have to have. What were your thoughts? I'm a blazer dude. I have a lot of blazers. I don't really get to wear them as much. But um, I've never liked a Sakai blazer, any of them. So I, I just I like the idea. But nah, nah. I mean, there has yet to be a colorway I like. So that's a pass for me. Both colors. Okay. The fact that it's a low don't help. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, like, you don't even really like low blazers in general, so. Just make a brewing. All right. Then the Nike Dunk High Rebel and Pink Oxford. I don't really care for the um, Rebel, which my understanding is that's a women's um, silhouette. But I just, I don't really care for it. I've seen multiple colors of these. And I, these pink ones have been available overseas for a while. Um, but I, I just have had no interest in them. Um, and you said you didn't care for them, the look of them either, correct? Nah, you know, it's sort of like the Disrupt Dunk or the Fontanka or any of that. Like, I don't, that's, I mean, for, first of all, it's not for me anyway. But two, nah. nah. Yeah. Um, they are coming out with the Nike Kyrie 8 Kitsu Fresh on Friday the 10th. Um, I have one pair of Kitsu Fresh shoes. They are the low fours. Love them. Super colorful. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really like this 8. They're a little um, more muted. 
Um, they're okay, but I don't really like how the eight looks. I'm not really feeling this Kyrie eight, so I'll be now, passing for on For the those. viewers, it may be called the Kyrie Infinity. I've watched, uh, like, when Where Testers did their review, they called it the Infinity, you know what I mean? So because of what happened with Kyrie, calling allegedly calling the shoes trash and all this other old stuff, uh, that may not be called the eight, you know. It could just end up being a little side shoe, but it really looks like they just took the midsole from the seven and a lot of the upper from the six and just mashed it together. Um, but, yeah, no, nah, it's, it's not for me. Um, that silhouette or the model is maybe the first Kyrie that I, I don't get. Um, let me say hello to everybody who just joined. Henny does it. iLab38, Gentronic, Sneakerhead Dread 71, Jay Pink at six. Thank you all for being here as well as everybody else. All right. So then the only shoe that I think I really like that's coming out on Friday is this collab between Sockety and A Life. It's a Shadow 6000, $150. Um, it's the same shoe silhouette as the um, Food Fights, but... That other one? What other one? You know, you got all the other ones. You got the marshmallow and the the one with the candy stripes on it. The you know, yeah. But I think most people are familiar with the food fights. But yeah, it's the the same um, silhouette. So one hundred and fifty dollars. I like them. Um, I don't know if I'll drop the one fifty on them to get them, but I do like how they look. Um, I may be able to catch them down the line as a reach back or something. But nice little clean shoe. Um, they're not crazy or anything like that. I love a crazy shoe, but I also, I also like, you know, more calm and beauty shoes as well. Uh, were you considering these? Nah, man. I'd rather have $150. No? Whatever. <laughs> $150 buy something else, right? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're nice shoes. I would wear them, and I, I, I would purchase them, um... But I'm not going to try to purchase them. And it's an A-Life collab, so who knows how many of them there are going to be. I mean, you and I have both had experience with A-Life shoes in the past. So, you know, who knows how that's going to uh, turn out. Uh, shout out to Kyla X, who just joined. Um, but, yeah. Nah. Pass. All right. So... On Saturday, December 11th, Adidas Yeezy Phone Runner in San Gray. I would like to try on a um, foam runner. I have not been able to because, like, how do you do that? Um, maybe I go into a resale shop or something. But I just um, – I don't necessarily like this color. and Or foam runners in general. It's like it's not something I have to have. But I'm curious to see how they feel because I hear good things about them. Um, is this one you're going to try for? I just want the ochre, the tan ones. You know, I just... That's the only one. It would have to be an Earth Tone one. I mean, this is an Earth Tone one, but nah, I ain't, I ain't got to have it. Um, shout out to Neil Chasing, um, but nah. Sneakerhead okay. Dread asks, what do you guys think about the Diodora Rocky Apollo collab dropping? It's not bad. It's good Diodora's in the, in the limelight. Yeah, I've been seeing more Diodoras that I'm interested in getting. Um, so as I start to move away from my go-to Nike and Jordan, because I can't keep dealing with the L's and everything. Um, Diodora is definitely away. one of them. Huh? Nobody ever moves away from Nike and Jordan. You know what I mean? You just look at other you know, things. Just kind of slow away. down on them. Like, I have to slow down on them. Like, the price points are crazy. Like, I just, I can't. Um, I can't keep doing that. Yeah, Keith, she got a little ACG vest on. I wish I had that one. You know what I'm saying? When we got them, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I have a black one somewhere that's a little more puffy, but I wish I had that one that she has on. I was jealous when, when she got it. We got it on Thursday. Didn't you when we were in Charlotte? Yeah. Good cop. Yeah. Must See. be nice. Whatever. Um, also on Saturday, New Balance is dropping three collabs. Okay. Um, SNS 574 and Olive Purple. Um, they're dropping a collab with Casablanca. It's a XC72 and cream. Um, which we talked about that. Last week, they pushed the date out for it. 
And then the New Balance, JJ Jound, 990V3, and Olive. What are your thoughts on those New Balances? I would get those Jound uh, 990s to flip. You know what I'm saying? Because Jound <laughs> is pretty popular. But, um, nah, I mean, wearability, the um, – the 574 is probably the best, but again, I'm not trying to get any of these shoes. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Um, then we're moving into Nike. Oh, Adidas. The Forum Low Home Alone. So they dropped them already on the confirmed app, but now they're going to be released at multiple retailers. I did see, I think, Finish Line and Hibbit has them. So Looks like a few places will have them if that's something you want to pick up. I have looked at them again. Um, before, I was saying definitely pass on those. But um, I don't know. I'm reconsidering it. I may try to get them. Because Home Alone was such a pivotal movie in my childhood. I absolutely loved that movie. Loved Macaulay Culkin when I was a kid. Home Alone 2 was also fire. So um, I don't know. I may reconsider. But they're coming out again. You still passing on them? Mm hmm Okay. All right. So then Nike First Ave Dunk Low SB Familia, hundred and ten bucks. Um and another Dunk Low and Rusted a hundred dollars. I don't have to have either one so, of those. Uh the, the Rusted Dunk is nice, like I don't know if you've actually seen that one. It's pretty nice, but you know, it's a dunk, so this isn't this, this is all tentative. You know, they may not come out until January or February or some the way dunks have been. Um, the Familia dunk, it's the one, uh, it's like that black and purple one with the star on it and the texture. Um, as much as I hate to say this, with the way that that dunk looks, that look like that's going to be like a, a skate shop exclusive or something like that. You're not even doing that lately. So, you know, I don't even know of any skate shops around here. I mean, in Cleveland, we only have West Side Skate. So, um, down here, I don't even know where the skate shops are yet. I've been slacking, but nah. Yeah. Oh. I'm going back through the If comments. the Russes come out, I may try for them, wherever they are. Yeah. Okay, I'm going back through the comments, so thank you, Orange County uh, Kobe's. Um, yeah, good looks, Carl. Yeah, Carl's all about the Kobe's. Sneakerhead Dread says so she's copping the um, New Balance SNS 574. New Balance Bodegas. Okay. Confirmed for nothing. <laughs> and that confirmed app is very frustrating. Like, I was talking to, I think when we were doing the uh, Lady Sneaker Conversations, we were talking about that because I don't understand why it takes so long for them to tell you you lost. Like, with Nike, I appreciate getting my notification within 10 to 15 minutes. You know, like, usually within five minutes of the draw closing, I know. But to be sitting there all day, like, when I entered for those Yeezys, it was like three or four hours before I knew whether or not I lost. So, I hate the confirmed. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> Sneaker Dread also says she's going for the forum. Definitely. Um, the kicker. You said you haven't got your pair in hand yet. Is that the forums? The Home Alone forums. Um, <laughs> the Elevens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the only other Nike release coming out. Um, besides the 11s, is the Nike Blazer High Athletic Club is white and teal. Not something I have to have pass on those. They're nice. Um, that is also going to be a game time decision. You know, I missed out on the dunks and the Air Force Ones from that pack, you know, with the corduroy on it. These blazers are a little more simple. There's no corduroy on them, but they have some nice uh, patchwork uh, on the panel, like um, the back panel says Athletic Club. The, the tongue has Nike Athletic uh, Department. It says blazer under the swoosh. So they're they're nice, but what are they, hundred dollars? How much do I have them listed for? Yeah, they're hundred dollars. Yeah. I don't know about a hundred dollars. If they come on a, you know, Nike and they show us love on them, I might mess with them then, but you know, only only then. So 
No. Nah. All right. So then, of course, the creme de la creme. Creme de la creme, home. <laughs> Nike Air Jordan 11, cool grays, $225. Um, so you were fortunate enough to get these via shock drop and actually wore them yesterday. Um, well, actually, you I, got them for me. Yeah, I won them on the shock drop for you, but they, they were <coughs> yours. I um, initially said that I was going to pass on these. Um, but I don't think I am anymore. I knew that once I saw yours that I was going to want them. Um, so I was able to secure a pair via finish line. Um, so I will be picking them up on Saturday. Oh, work little bottom shoes. Whatever. You, I mean... You already know, like, I love gray. Gray is, like, one of my favorite colors. It's, it's my favorite, like, neutral color. So I knew that I was going to want them. But 225 and a clear bottom, like, the sole is going to be orange in a couple of years. And I'm going to be upset. Like, the sole is going to be the color that's best. I'm going to be upset about it. Like, I'm really going to be upset about it. Um, but it is what it is, you know. Like, 10 or 15 years down the line. I don't think it's going to be 10 or 15 if anything, years. My, if anything, my Space Jam should just show you. You know, I, I got those on release day. And they're still blue like that on the bottom. They're five mm -hmm. years old already. Okay. So, and I mean, you got all these other shoes behind me, you know what I'm saying, to wear. So, it ain't like you're going to be wearing them bitches all like that. You know what I'm saying? You'll be cool. It's going to be good. It's going to be Gucci. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be Gucci. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm. I have my pair secured via finish line, thankfully. Um, so that's one less my thing. My pair's to worry on the floor. I, I will say that I have been happy to see so many people getting them. Um, they did shock drop via sneakers, and they also did, I think, two um, rounds of um, what's it called? The reserves. Exclusive access, early access. Uh... Exclusive access. Two rounds of exclusive access that I've seen. I've seen quite a few people posting that they have reserved pairs via Finish Line and or JD Sports. So it's definitely making the sneakerhead in me happy to see so many people able to secure pairs. And yeah, a bunch of retailers are getting them. Like even Dix is getting them. Um, Hibbit. Finish line, JD Sports, like Snipes, like all, oh, all kind of places are getting these. So I'm I'm happy that hopefully everybody who wants a pair is able to get a pair. So okay, so J Pink is six says my gray lows are still clear. Okay. Yeah, they came out in 18. They yeah. came out right when I was at Hibbit. Okay. So I'm a little more optimistic, but no matter what, at some point they're going to turn, and there's yeah, nothing we'll take I can do about He'll clear them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, clear. All right, so let's wrap up. What are you going for this week? Nothing. Nothing. I am going for the Golden Gals dunks in the silver. Um, the cool gray Elevens, which I have a pair reserved. And, You're not going for them if they're reserved. Okay, but I'm going to buy them. It's purchase or pass. Purchase for those. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, that's that's really it for me. I think the biggest letdown for me is these Ivy Parks because I don't know why. Why is she doing that? But you know, it is what it is. You know what? I'll take that back. I may because I said one shoe was a game time decision. Um, those LeBron Air Force Ones, mm. maybe. Uh, but yeah, I can't think of anything else. I can't think of anything else. Yeah. 
Oh, the kicker. Oh my God. My the nervousness in my stomach back via finish line, but hopefully they're not backdoored on release day. Tell me about it. Cause if I go up there and my pair is gone. I don't want to act a fool. I don't want to caring out on these people, but give me my shoe that I had reserved and stop playing with me. A Glock That's definitely a concern. That don't play with me. <laughs> For real with Project Pet. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I think that's it. And I think most people um, either already have or are going to try for the cool gray 11s. Um, Definitely the pick of the week. Yeah. How could they not be? All right. Well, that's it. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We'll be back next Sunday to talk about more upcoming releases. We'll definitely be talking about the LeBron's and the ones, the handcrafted ones that are supposed to come out on the same day. I was glad to see them added to the sneakers app. So that is that. But thank you everyone for tuning in. We appreciate you all. Everyone have a great day and a great week. Happy Sunday. Bye. Peace.